Yo, Skitty Tube, it's Dead Shots. It's here. It's here, boys. It's season three day. I don't know when you're watching this. I, I hope I'm posting this. Uh, the damn recording, it's around one o'clock right now, around an hour after the drop. There is a crap ton of content, and there's so much fun everywhere throughout the game. I really do think this is a grand slam in terms of kind of content. I, I don't really know. Um, I'm super excited to go over it with you guys. Um, today, it really is kind of kind of be uh, a content overview. Uh, next video will be who to get in Team Affinity. And then the next video will be uh, a ranked game with uh, the new Chase Pack um, player. I just bought him, but we'll, we'll see who that is soon. Um, okay, let's let's take a look at the, the calendar um, or what they've dropped. Um, Team Affinity, you got double XP until Tuesday, um, BR World Series event, Season Awards, Roster Update, and you can't forget about the collections. So, let's just jump right into it, man. I think the first thing to definitely go over is definitely the reward path. So, I don't really know how they're doing it. It's like they're doing two I've, I've, I've seen. This is the first one. This is only to 350k, which is really sick. Um, rewards quick. Um, they're dropping a lot of these captain packs. A lot of people wanted them because they only had like four dropped. And what is it? It's August now? Um, okay. Jake Diekman. This is going to be one of the best relievers in the game to start off. Probably one of the best relievers going forward. Uh, 95 overall with max hit per nine, max K per nine, 116 hitting clutch, 94 home runs per nine, but 52 walk per nine. Honestly, I was expecting like 30 when I saw this card, so it's not that deep. Um, the control's not going to be there, but he's going to throw a sinker, and he has that gross, gross delivery. Um, more captain packs, and oop, oop, out of position, <laughs> out of position pack. Um, this is like, I think... This is already in my inventory. We can actually open that up. Um, you know, let's actually open it up. Um, so, included, we get DH, Noah Syndergaard. Wow, this card rakes. 125, 111 power, respectively, right, left. Um, now, I don't really know what to what to think about these cards. I don't know if their swings are going to be good. I mean, I... I know I'm gonna like I'm gonna love the Degrom card in Team Affinity. I'm probably gonna love the, you know, what what are some other cards? I don't know, like some other card. But who knows how they've actually done it? Like, is he gonna get that you know generic wind up that all position players get? So I have no clue how they're gonna do it. I guess we'll wait and see. Um, looking at it right now, Noah Syndergaard is probably one of the best uh, hitter cards in the game, at least um, low priced. Uh, Pico Armstrong is definitely one of the best pitchers in the game. Um, he's got outlier on the fastball, I'm pretty sure. Yep. He's got a sinker and two sliders and a splitter. Wow, that card's insane. Um, you know, what's great about these out-of-position cards is that they're so fun and goofy. Um, but they're not going to be used for that long. So people who are like kind of annoyed that it's kind of impractical to use these cards, it's fine because they're going to get phased out. I mean, you'll see the rest of this update. They dropped a crap ton of 99s, and those will outphase these cards pretty quickly just with how fast you earn cards this season, which is great. Uh, Brandon Crawford, If honestly, if I get the low round, I'm probably going to choose him just because it's Brandon Crawford. Paul Canerico, eh, pretty good, pretty good. There's some other catchers in Team Affinity, though. Uh, Trevino is actually a really good card. I'm actually debating on picking him for the bullpen. Um, yeah, let's let's just open this back up. Why not? Oh! Oh, let's go! That's sick! Um, okay, we're definitely choosing Picro. I'm sorry, Syndergaard, we gotta choose Picro. That's sick, man. That's sick. Let's open some more packs up later. Let's keep going on the reward path. We got Dansby Swanson, 97 overall, 94 contact both sides, 91 power with a 104 power versus left. 101 clutch. This card's going to be really good to start off, like, for, probably for the first three weeks. Probably want to be the best shortstops just because who knows if Jacob DeGrom or any of those out-of-position position players are going to be even good in the field or have good swings or have good animations. So um, with a solidified shortstop like Danzy Swanson, we'll probably be seeing him a lot in ranked seasons, especially because you only get him at 90k, which is really cool. They also doubled the uh, XP cap for uh, daily, which is pretty cool. Um, at six, 160, um, you get Craig Biggio. Wow, 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 wow. Bang, bang. Contact, bang, bang. 
uh, power, actually really good power for a Craig Biggio card. 118 clutch, basically 90s for the rest of the stats. He's got 99 bunt even, 90 fielding. He's got diamond shield at second. Um, he's got gold shield at catcher, but that doesn't really matter. He's got 89 arm. Bunch of these headliners, ballins, blah, 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 stub, stubs. And at 350k XP, you get 99 overall. Hank Henry, whatever your name is, Hank Aaron. Now, this card is absolutely stacked. It's probably one of the best Hank Aaron cards I've ever seen him in a while. I, probably one of the best we've ever seen. Um, he's got first base secondary. He's got, you know, all the outfield. He's got max clutch, basically max power. Um, he's got max stats versus lefties, basically max stats versus righties. Um, 91 fielding, 91 arm, 86 reaction. Dude, this card's really good. This is probably one of the best cards in the game. Um, I bet people are going to be getting him in probably the next, like three three two and a half weeks i don't know that's just my prediction good xp reward path love that it's short love the love the rewards these are very usable rewards i love that no throwaway collectibles um let's take a look at team affinity is what everyone's thinking about um so it seems like you gotta do moments missions blah, blah 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 there's a showdown no extreme moments um let's just take a look at a few of these because let's just graze over them um machado relief pitcher that's pretty cool let's take a look Sinker Cutter, not bad, not bad. Uh, Cutter Crawford, this is the one they were teasing, trying to think it was Mookie Betts. Um, actually, really hilarious way to drop it. Actually, pretty good. Um, Matt, pretty good um, contact for the start of this season. With 85 speed, that's really that's pretty nice. Um, McClanahan, good power. Roy Halladay. We'll, we'll, we'll see more of these cards later. We'll take a look at the big names, maybe. Um, that's Team Affinity. We'll look at the other programs. Take a look at our first Season 3 awards. Um, this is drop one moments, blah, 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 blah. Tops now, Nico Cavadas. Um, this card looks like a tops now card. Um, 93s are how we're going to start uh, with this new power creep. Not bad. This card's not bad. Um, you know, any cards can be used right now for the start of the year um, or start of the season. Uh, Addison Barger had a nice supercharged card. Um, decent swing, so he, he might be okay. It kind of sucks against lefties. Uh, Real Muto, BR legend with that supercharge. Um, he's pretty good. I think he's got pop time. He should have pop time. He does have pop time. Um, not the best hitting stats. Um, probably better catchers in the game. Uh, and this is a better catcher in the game. Yanir Diaz. This is one of the best. This is going to be the best catcher in the game free. Um, until people start unlocking those Team Affinity guys. Um, I definitely think he's worth getting him probably first before anyone. Um, he's got 99 arm and, uh, catcher pop time. And he's got 100 contact and 120 clutch with 105 power versus left. That is going to be playable. He can play first base and uh, corner outfield. I definitely throw him at first base or catcher, not outfield. Um, that's a really good card. Now we're going to move on to the multiplayer drops, starting with the rank seasons program. Let's take a look. Blah, 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 blah. And at 75 points, you get Bruce Suter. Again, Bruce Suter kind of stinks. Uh, I thought we were kind of done with the action figure cards, but okay. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna be using him. I'm just gonna skip over that. Barry Larkin, um, low key not the biggest names for World Series, and they're 99. It's just really interesting because I saw the BR rewards are 97. So uh, I, I don't know, either match them. Um, Barry Larkin though, he's gonna be good. He could play um, only shortstop, but you could definitely throw him at second base if you want to out of position. Um, it's a Barry Larkin card. He's gonna have hundreds all around. Uh, they actually gave him 104, 114 power versus left, which is not bad at all. Um, He's got Diamond Shield at shortstop with 89 speed. That's going to be a really good card. Um, Paul O'Neill, um, he is going to rake. He's got max clutch, max contact versus right. Basically, um, he's kind of got a reverse split with power, but dude, he's going to be a, he's going to rake. Um, I don't know. Not the greatest um, cards, in my opinion. Um, definitely could have went bigger, but I mean, there's a lot of big stuff in this drop, so I'm not surprised. Um, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, I love Battle Royale, and I've been playing a lot of it, but I could see why a lot of people don't like it this year. Um, we got Silver Cards, Hanky, Brock Burke. Brock Burke's gonna be good. Wow, Brock Burke's gonna be good. Um, Grosh uh, how do you pronounce that name? I, I don't, I'm not even gonna try. Crochet, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Gold Round. Paul DeYoung, ooh, Paul DeYoung looks nice. Trevor Story also looks not bad. Um, Taylor Ward can play anywhere. Wow, that's good. And Grisham's probably the worst one. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, pretty good gold round. Um, diamond round. Ooh, Adley. Hold on, let me check. Oh, is that a Bowman? 
Holy crap, that's crazy. Nice card art. Um, probably not gonna be choosing him. Uh, Chili Davis. You guys know Chili Davis. I love Chili Davis. Um, Altuve. Probably not gonna be choosing him. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be choosing Nolan Jones though. Nolan Jones is grow 125 clutch on an 87 overall is absolute man. It's madness. That is madness. Um, and then let's take a look at the flawless program. See that's what I'm saying? Like you gotta match the overalls with the rank seasons, or you just gotta make like these cards like cooler because if, I feel like this year they've they've dropped a lot of name value in BR and it just makes people stray away from the uh, from the mode. Alex Gordon 97 and Felix Bautista 97. Bautista's gonna be good. Um, he always is outlier splitter slider. Alex Gordon not the greatest fan of that card, um, but regardless, let's let's take a look at more um, online stuff. We got the Chapter One event. That's what's Chapter One event. Oh, oh, so you can use Chapter One of any season. Okay, that makes sense. Um, a lot of XP you can earn. You got a relief pitcher, Wade Boggs. Ooh, this card's pretty cool. Lefty with a sinker and a cutter. Wow, they gave a lot of these cards cutters and sinkers. I thought they were going to just give them sinkers. Um, Trevor Hoffman, shortstop. This is going to be one of the best shortstops in the game for a while. Wow, 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 wow. That's a really good card. How do they do better with the event cards than they did with the the freaking BR cards? That doesn't make sense. Actually, let's take a look at the pack content. Um... They've got, I just bought this jumbo pack. They got a jump star. If you really needed this, don't get it. Don't get it. It's a scam. Um, out of position pack, you get one of these free in the pack. Um, I just got the Crow Armstrong. Um, season three awards drop one. Okay, man. Why are the overalls better than Yanni? Oh my God. Why? Why? Oh my God, man. Why are they higher overalls than freaking Diaz? That makes no sense. Iglesias, he's going to be one of the best pitchers in the game. you got Max uh, hit per nine, probably Max Clutch. Yeah, he's been outstanding the past few weeks, or past few months. Um, Jonski, Noel, Big Christmas. This card is going to rake. This card is literally as good as the Yonidias. Why, 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 why? Um, Winker um, with that insane bat flip um, on the Mets. Bowden Francis, he's pretty good. He had that no-no flirt. Uh, and Alvarez, a, another good card but I'm, I'm not gonna pay for these cards man ah why are they putting good cards in the packs i thought they were gonna stray away from that they were doing so good whoa lance uh, he's a switch hitter oh! basically a david ortiz lance land wow that's insane hold on should i put a buyer order for him all right that's that's kind of insane um what's the chase pack and Corey seager Corey Seager, we already knew that. Um, we kind of actually just put in a buy order for him. Um, I think we actually got him already. We're going to be debuting him pretty soon. On the subject of packs, let's take a look at the new Season 3 Cornerstone Captains. Um, we have 93s, Mike Mussina, Brandon Lau, Stephen Kwan, and O'Neal Cruz. Um, okay, let's take a look. Mussina is going to boost pitchers in the Hall of Fame. Wow, that's really good. That is actually really good. Um, pitchers in the Hall of Fame. The great thing about this card is that this boost is going to last. The fact that we are in the end game now because season three and core cards are basically one and the same. Um, season or set four is going to be um, any cards in use. So basically any season three card is going to be used from now all until the end of MLB The Show. So now as more pitchers from the Hall of Fame are going to get released into the game, this card is going to be used the whole time. I think this is going to be the end game cornerstone captain. Um, and that's just the matter of fact, to be honest. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's take a look at the attributes. Um, pretty pretty decent. It's a Musina card. It's gonna be, not going to be that great in terms of striking people out. Um, he has a sinker cutter. You'll, you'll get some ground outs. He's got a decent pitch clutch. Um, I bet with the um, I bet with the boost, he's better. Um, he gives uh, hit per nine, contact versus right, uh, power um, versus left, and uh, walk per nine. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, Brandon Lau, uh, I'm, I'm, I love Brandon Lau card. Let's see, six hitters under 100. Wow, hitters under 100 contact versus both sides. This kind of sucks. This card is going to get phased out really quick. Um, that's what I kind of hate about, like, I, mean, I love the Buxton boost um, from Season 1, but it's like the Buxton boost. You, a card that um, focuses on attribute deficiencies is kind of going to get phased out really quickly. Um... I mean, he great. He was great hitting attributes and fielding too, with clutch as well. But like, people aren't going to be using this card, given 
three weeks because 99s are going to come out in probably three weeks. So I'm not going to be excited for this card. Um, probably not going to be taking him. Uh, Steven Kwan, high contact, blah, 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 blah. Let's take a look at what he boot. Okay, he's under 90 power. Okay, that's... These are really odd. These Both of these captain cards are kind of odd. Um, he's going to give good fielding, good clutch, good contact versus right. But it, again, just the attribute deficiencies, um, those never last for captains. So uh, I'm not really excited for either of those. I, probably those are two captains I'm never going to choose. Um, Onio Cruz, this card I'm really excited for. Let's see, 108, 108, 104 power, blah, 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 blah. Hitters with 90 or higher arm strength. That That's a good attribute to look for. So that's going to be a new attribute to look for. I feel like by the end of the season or when 99s that with juiced attributes are coming out, there are going to be a lot of hitters and um, a lot of position players with over 90 arm strength. Um, so the power boost is going to be insane. He gives power, speed, clutch. Wow, that's really good. This is probably going to be the pick for me for now because there aren't many, there aren't too many Hall of Fame pitchers in season three. But eventually, I do think the order is probably going to go. Mm, probably for now, um, I think the worst card is Stephen Kwan just because right now there are a lot of hitters with under a hundred contact. So I think in, in order, you should um, the worst one is probably Kwan and then Brandon Lau and then O'Neill Cruz and then eventually Musina is gonna be the best one. But right now, I'm gonna choose O'Neill Cruz. Um, okay, let's take a look at um, the collections. So as you guys could tell, the season collections, it's headed by the three times wild card. It's because it's trying to tell you that there's a different way to get wild cards. It's not in the reward. Oh, we do have Seeger. It's not in the path itself. It's actually with um, the collection. So at one, 15 and 50 you get your first three wild cards and then eventually you'll get your fourth at a later date they're dropping that later also um just just letting you know at 150 you get one of these choice packs for the big bosses but you'll get more later they're just there's not 150 season three cards in the game yet so they're not even putting that tier out yet um but that's getting ahead of ourselves let's go to um 40 you get mariana Rivera. what the hell what the frick Basically max max hit per nine basically max K per nine basically max walks per nine basically match pitch and clutch Basically the best pitch in the game and a 99 overall Mariano Rivera Why are they dropping this at 40 cards? That's insane people are gonna get him hecka quick That's team affinity and a few extra cards man. That's insane. That's absolutely insane Wow, that is insane man Okay, that's a really good card. That's going to be probably one of the best. That's probably going to be the best reliever in the game for probably the rest of the year. Um, Jackie Robinson. Oh, my God. They juiced him. Um, max contact. Max clutch. Max vision. Max discipline. 90 power. Um, pretty good bunt. He can play um, anywhere in the infield and left field as well. He can probably play right field, too, if you really wanted him to. Um, maybe even center field. He can play anywhere, dude. Um... 99 steel, um, 99 speed, that is a no-brainer. This card's really good. Um, I think Mariano Rivera's a little better. And then the big boys. This is th this is what I was excited for. Um, let's start with Henderson. Henderson's pretty good. I just never really liked Henderson. He has a close stance. Um, but again, they juice his power. 100 power versus left is absolutely juice for him. 115 clutch. Uh, basically max contact versus both sides um, with the 90 fielding and the 99 speed. That is uh, That card is beautiful. Lou Gehrig is who I'm really excited for. Um, Lou Gehrig always has the one of the best lefty swings in the game. Um, he's definitely one of my favorite first base cards. Um, really excited to use that card. Um, he's basically Babe Ruth, but less power. And I'm not even mad at that because it's 119. And then here's Randy Johnson. Um, I'm not even going to talk much about this card. Yeah, he has Outlier. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I'm sad. Randy Johnson's back in the game. Um, okay, so that's the collection. Um, let's take a look at more special collections. Out of position collection, um, you know, let's actually take a look at some of these big names. Um, I do want to buy that Lance Lynn. That's a headliner. Um, 95s is where you're going to get your team affinities. Kenley Jansen, switch hitting, high contact catcher. Really nice. He has catcher pop time. Wow, wow. Why are they giving more pitchers catcher, uh, catcher pop time than actual catchers? Willie Mays, third base. That's not bad. Um... Pretty good, pretty balanced. He can play short and first as well. Oh, Mason win. Give me outlier. Give me outlier. Yes. Wow, this card's insane. He's a starting pitcher too with 94 stamina. Not bad. He'll go into the sixth inning for you. Uh, DeGrom. Here it is. Here he is. Whoa. Wow, that's the best. 
that's the best shortstop in the game um, for now, or the best free shortstop in the game. Harper. Whoa! Oh baby! Oh baby! Oh baby! They dropped a they dropped a really good Harper, a really good Harper for a catcher. That's that's really nice. Um, Arietta, I know that card is gonna be sick. He is a demon at the plate. Um, you know that that's really it. Um, that's the best. That those are the guys that jump out to me right now. Let's take a look at the ten. At ten cards, you get Bob Gibson, um, shortstop, catcher, um, shortstop, secondary. Um, he's got ninety three fielding. Um, pretty good. Uh, not the best hitting stats, but. I don't really know how they get those stats. Uh, Hunter Green. Hunter Green was a two-way entering uh, out of college. Uh, kind of messed up in the minors with the hitting. So he kind of just became one of the best starting pitchers in the game. Um, but now, um, this is a really cool, respectable card. I like that. 103 clutch, too. Michael Lorenzen. This card's pretty good. This card's actually really good. Um, you get him after getting basically all of Team Affinity done. And then the iconic Anthony Rizzo. I remember this when he struck out Freeman. Um, yeah, really, really cool card. Um, he's got a sinker. That's really it for the collections. Godus. Well, this wasn't called Godus before. What did they change? They didn't change anything. Okay, I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, yeah, that's that's the collections. Now, I think the last thing to go over, let's see. Just try to remember. Um, the roster update. Yeah, let's we'll take a look at that. Let's we'll take a look at the roster update. I think that's honestly it. Did I go over everything? Guys, let me know. I, I, I'm not really, a, I'm not that great at doing, uh, What's it called? Now, I think that's really it. I, I don't really know. I'm not the greatest at doing content review. So, um, let's take a look at the roster update for a little bit. Um, let's just look at the big names. Aaron Judge goes to 95. Uh, Bobby Witt uh, goes up to 2. Juan Soto goes up 3. Uh, Shohei, I don't know what they did. They probably changed his hitting stats, but you can't toggle his stats. Um, Jay Randa increased to 92. Harper gets dropped to a 91. Patel gets his deserving at 90 overall. Tori Scooble goes down. Um, Mickey Betts goes down. Galaz now goes down. Um, I don't really pay attention to roster bits just because I've been doing a lot of BR for my subs. Uh, Vlad gets to 89. That's deserving. Wow, that card's really good. Um, Wheeler goes down. Henderson goes down. Freeman goes down. Crochet goes down. Uh, Rushman goes down. Kwan goes down. Turner goes down. Skeen goes up 2. Classic goes minus 1. Iglesias goes plus 6. Um, Kit Cole goes minus 1. Rush Lewis goes minus 1. Um, Hader goes to Diamond. Um, right, let's look at the gold to Diamond. So Griffin Jack goes to Diamond. Hunter Green almost goes to Diamond. Buxton gets a big increase. Uh, Sending goes down to gold. Uh, he's still free to pause at any moment. Uh, Harris goes down to gold. Uh, Ryan Walker goes up one. Good WWW. Um, that's really what I kind of want to go over. Ramos goes up two. Snell goes up one. Not really. How does he not go up more? Okay. Um, that's really it. I don't, I don't, I'm not really worried about the roster update. Definitely, definitely go check that out for yourself if you want to. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I know I am going to enjoy a lot of these cards. Um, there's a lot of big names we haven't gotten over yet. Um, but I hope we got over got over everything, and um, I hope you guys are as excited as this as I am. So um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one, um, which is going to be a Team Affinity review. Peace.